Previously on The Bill. I just feel so jaded working for CSU. Did you get a look at the driver? Yeah, I'll never forget his face. Well, Captain I did the driver. Smithy. Well, he's got to be a plant. Larson's put him in there. Well, I'm glad I haven't packed. By the look of you, you're no closer to getting me out of it. We are making progress. What, enough to get me bowed later? I didn't think so. What's happening with this hitman? Pat Gannon's still AWOL. Great. And Larson's middleman is still in Spain, as far as we know. Right. So I'm going to a bail application this afternoon and our two main suspects are sunning themselves on the Costa del Sol, is that right? There are other leads. Hang on. Let's keep this realistic, shall we? You've got... You've got six hours to come up with something. There is a man claiming that he saw me at the wheel of a car that hit Louise. I'm sorry, but I can't think of anything that's going to sway the judge, can you? It's obvious that the witness is a plant. We just have to break him, that's all. Well, I won't hold my breath. You've got the superintendent as surety. That might swing it for you. Having Mother Teresa as surety won't swing it for me. I've got a million to one chance of getting bailed this afternoon. I'm sorry, but from where I'm sitting, things ain't looking too good. Sir? Sir? Can you wake up, sir? I've got a snoozer. Woo! OK. After three, yeah? One, two, three. There you go, sweetheart. There we go. It's not too cold now, yeah? But we'll be seeing you again soon. Bye. Ooh. This is clear for a good few hours. Ooh. Are you on front office all day? I'm taking off another box of my training. I need to speak to someone. What's the problem? I want to report my dad for sexually abusing me when I was younger. OK. Um, do you want to come through here? It's a little bit more private. Can you get Diaz de Costa, please? I'll get the door for you. Please take your time. My father sexually assaulted me when I was seven, shortly after my mum died. Social services must have found out about it because I was put into care, foster parents. I haven't reported it before because I'd blanked it out. When did you remember that you'd been abused? Well, having Jesse. <laughs> Made me realise how strong the love is, you know, between a, a parent and a child. I wanted to know how my dad could have dumped me with a strange family. So I tracked him down. I asked him why he left me. <laughs> he just went on about himself, his grief is this, is that. <laughs> Selfish pig. My husband, Kev, thought a therapist might help. Mm -hmm. I started going and... Gradually, it came back to me. I remembered how I used to get into bed with my dad for a cuddle, and he would touch me. Where would he touch you? It would start off with him stroking my hair, and then he would work his way down and put his hand between my legs. And then what? Oh, you know. Did you have sex? No, just touching. But. <laughs> That doesn't make it any better, does it? Absolutely not. We just have to be clear about all the facts. Mark Holloway, 8 Holven Road. Thank you. <clears throat> Sarah, I I'm not trying to put you off, but I just want to be sure that you're aware that this investigation could be quite distressing for you. I've had to face up to what he did to me. Now it's his turn. I've never heard anybody report an allegation in such a detached way. Thank you, Bert. 
Well, it's not hard to distance yourself from something that's happened 20 years ago, let's face it. True. I'm going to ring up DCI Caddick, see if he can give us some insight, because he's going to have to liaise with social services. I mean, I would ring Saul, but I'm probably the last person he wants to hear from. Could you uh, see if Mark is on the sex offenders register? I'll do that for you. Thank you. So how is Smithy? He's convinced his bail application be refused again. Well, he knows the score. Nothing's changed since the last one. It's unlikely anything will be found between now and this afternoon. I still think Carl Kaplan is the key. No, they drew a blank with him. Of course they did. Larson's not going to have a stooge witness that can be traced back to him. They didn't dig deep enough. If you break Kaplan, Smithy walks, I'm sure of it. Well, Kaplan could have seen somebody who looked like Smithy. I mean, just because he's not saying what you want him to say doesn't mean that he's lying. My gut instinct tells me he's a plant. Gut instincts won't help Smithy. No, but following them might. Listen, MIT might be happy to sit around and twiddle their thumbs, but we should be out there trying to prove his innocence. You're on the case. You dig as much as you want to. But make sure that's all it is, eh? You too, Mickey. Mickey. Sir. Same. Go. Not early, am I? No, of course not. Come in, take a seat. We were just discussing Sergeant Smith's bail application. Well, as far as I'm aware, there haven't been any further developments. No. Then I can't imagine the outcome's going to be different to the last time. How's Smithy? Not good. He's been properly stitched up. Tell us if anything changes, will you? Yeah. Sorry. Mickey. Yeah. Can I have a word? Oh. I'm glad you're working with Zane. He's good. Sometimes he needs his feet step into the ground. OK. Well, Adam's a bit worried, you know. He wants to be sure that somebody's keeping an eye on him. The super or you? Well, both of us. We all always have to pay Larson. I just want to be sure he doesn't screw things up for the sake of a personal vendetta. What are you asking, Gav? I'm not asking you to spy on him. I just want to be sure that one of you remains clear-headed. Can I? Yeah. Thanks. Mark on the way. Uh, yes, sir. I'm afraid there's been some allegations made against you. What, what allegations? Mark on the way. I'm arresting you for sexual assault. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention the questions I, I, I don't understand. Or you later on in court. Anything you do say may be given I, I don't understand. But... Sir, your daughter Sarah's made a statement. You need to come with us. Sarah? Why, why would she... What's she been saying? Can we discuss this at the station, please? I, I, I'm supposed to have a dentist appointment. I'll have to cancel it. Can I make a quick call? I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist, sir. Do you have a coat? Yes. Yeah. Would you get it, please? children, sir? No, just Sarah. Would you go to the car, please? Thank you. Now, that worries me. Yes. I, kn I knew Sarah hated me, but I didn't think she'd go this far to hurt me. Why did she hate you? she just lost her mother to cancer, and I had her put into care. Why? Uh, I was a mess. Becky and I had been together since school. I didn't know how to function without her. I should have stopped work to spend the last few months with her. Didn't you have any support? Family? Friends? Anyway, after a while, I thought she'd be better off away from me. You know, away from the house, away from memories of her mother. I did what I thought was right for her. I even left the country. Where did you go? 